in this video I'm going to create uh, a sign up box a sign up form which would allow the user to get himself registered inside the application and then we'll be able to log in into the application and use that application so let's get started I'm just gonna click on the package of combat and create a new class that would be actually representing our sign up so signing up and that's it I'm gonna click on finish and that's we have a signing up dot Java class I'm gonna save the hierarchy and then I'm gonna get into the layout folder click on the XML file and here I'm gonna use signing up and then I'm gonna click on finish and what we have is a linear layout now I'm gonna get into the sign up dot XML file and I have a linear layout now I'm just gonna get back to graphical layout and in here I'm gonna use a few text views and plus a date box so a few text views and plus a date box you would be now understanding that why I'm adding all these the first uh, text view would be like for uh, a username the second uh, and the third uh, would be actually prompting you the second would be for an edit box of the username third is actually for password and that will be also for password edit box that will be actually password confirmation and uh, after password confirmation I'm gonna add another text view plus another text view for uh, the email address so I'm gonna click on this and change its widget type to the uh, to edit text I'm gonna click on it and that's it now we have one edit text and I'm just gonna click on this oh, sorry I'm just gonna change the widget type of it to edit text and then I'm gonna do the same step for this one like we have one text view one text view edit text and then once again I'm gonna click on edit text and that's what we have is and I'm gonna click on edit text once again and change it and that's it now now the next thing we're gonna have to do is to empty the edit text so I'm just gonna edit the text and empty it so I'm gonna do it for all of them so I'm gonna edit the text and make it empty and now that I have made all the edit text boxes empty I'm gonna make its width completely fill the parent so I'm gonna click on the uh, this one and uh, I will have an option in here in the layout folder so I'm gonna click on it and match its or fill parent and that's it now I'm gonna save it and apply the same option to the rest of the elements and now we have all applied the fill option on every edit box in here like as you can see that all the edit box I'm just gonna make it like that okay now I'm gonna change the text view names like edit text and uh, I'm gonna give it a name of like uh, username and then I'm gonna use a uh, username uh, string dot XML already contains a string ID username with the value of friend username so I'm gonna change it like uh, this one user and then I'm gonna use name okay I'm just gonna click on OK and that's it now we have a username and I'm gonna apply the same option technique for the rest of the elements now we have put on all the elements like password confirm password I'm gonna maximize it so that is username password confirm password email now the few things I gonna have to do is I gonna have to enter actually two passwords so for that purpose I'm gonna provide a linear layout so I'm gonna linear layout that would be actually allowing us to place the contents uh, in a secure way so I'm just gonna place it in here I'm just gonna put on a linear layout in here and then I'm just gonna place this edit text in here and inside the linear layout I'm gonna get into this and put on a buttons that is the button one for a uh, signing up and button two for canceling so I'm just gonna click on it and edit the text of button one to sign up so I'm gonna click on it and sign up sign up and I'm just gonna click on OK that's it now we have sign up but as you can see that it is not extending so what I gonna have to do is uh, I'm just gonna extend it a bit but uh, uh, it will take a lot of space so I gonna have to make it like um, 100 uh, it's taking too much space I'm gonna make it 50 or 20 so first of all I'm gonna click on the sign up button and then I'm gonna click on 10 and that's much more than 10 so I'm gonna use 4 and that's it 
I'm gonna use it like that it is actually taking a bit of time but uh, it will eventually get into its position so if you face the same problem after passing on the values and the wet margins and all these values is still not getting into its position then the easiest way to do this is to click on the button and then here you're gonna fill out the weight with the one option and click enter and that's it it will automatically place its position and then click on the button two and click on one then I'm gonna it will automatically adjust themselves within the linear layout section so weight is actually providing a typical kind of situation for example if I put it two then it will definitely be distorted like that so as, as you can see that it is now taking more space in extra weight than sign up button so I'm gonna make it one so that both buttons would equally share the space and weight and now that's the end of our signing up uh, box